So today we're going to make uh, some really simple circuits. For that, we need to add our components first. So do that by clicking on P and type in LED. This will throw out a lot of options. Select optoelectronics and then LEDs. Now you can see there are a lot of options. Uh, I'm going to choose an LED that alternates between red and yellow when it's on and off. So double click on that and it should get added to your components list. Now type in, we need a resistor, so type in 280 ohms. I'll tell you why I'm choosing 280 ohms in a while. Choose resistors. Now you'll see there's a lot of options for resistors as well. So which one do we choose? Well, it doesn't really matter because we're just doing electronic circuit simulation and we're not really doing PCB design. And all these resistors they correspond to different dimensions and it doesn't really matter what we choose as long as the value is 280 ohms so double click on anything and it will get added as well and we're done now let's add the components so just click on the component and click here to add it now click on the resistor you need to rotate it by 90 degrees add that as well and now you need to join them now that the components are in place we need to give our supply and ground so for doing that click on terminals over here and then click on ground and then give the ground now we need to give our supply so for that click on generators and click on DC and we'll add that as well now we need to set our voltage for the supply so I'm going to give 5 volts now you have to understand 5 volts is with respect to ground now let's click on the LED here and see what specifications we have the forward voltage is 2.2 volts and the forward current is 10 milliamps and my supply is 5 volts but I need just 2.2 volts so I need to drop 2.8 volts across this resistor. So what value of resistor will I choose? If you look at Ohm's law, you'll see R is equal to V by I. So we need to drop 2.8 volts divided by 10 milliamps. That will give you 280 ohms. So that is the value of the resistance. Now let's run the circuit. Uh, click on the play button here. And you'll see your LED lights on. Yeah, that's good. So we just finished a really simple circuit. Now let's move on to something a little bit complicated. Delete all this. Now go to paths again. Type in BC547 and select this transistor. Add the transistor there. Now let's add the LED and the resistor. Now rotate this by 90 degrees. Now we'll just join everything. Give the ground and supply. I'm following the same steps as I did just a while back give the supply set a value I'm going to give 5 volts again now as you know in a transistor the state of the transistor depends on the state of the base so I'm going to alternate the base between high and low and for that I'm going to give a clock pulse to the base so click on generator and select D clock and give the clock to the base now let's run the circuit and see what we have yeah the LED goes on and off exactly as you wanted well that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe because i'll be adding more videos in the future thank you for watching